Hi guys and welcome back to my channel After 10 years of me just <laughs> Can't disappear like a matter yet <laughs> But anyway I'm back and Oksalayo This is home guys This is home we always gonna come back <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Oh yes uh, today in today's video we're going to have like that conversation that um, like amongst our youth mm -hmm. this is not like a topic of interest mm -hmm. like, we are going to talk about HIV yes you heard and here I have a friend of mine her name is Kamukrelo Masioko welcome to our channel thank you thank you for having me <laughs> <laughs> of course Kamukrelo Masioko is living with HIV yes and today she's just going to share with us her experience like how it's been so she's been living with hiv for six years yeah so she's just going to fill us in how it's been and yeah. she is not a health professional so whatever she says is based on her experience it's just clear so <laughs> <laughs> don't come to the comment section and be asking me like those of questions because <laughs> Luna, you know, you're still learning. Yeah, I'm still learning. Yeah. 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 So. But thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. That's, thank you for inviting me. Say. So yeah, I'm glad to like I I honestly enjoy speaking about HIV. Ask me why. Why? The reason is um when every every time I start speaking about, about HIV, for me it's 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 like a yeah, healing process every time i yeah every time i speak about hiv like it's playing a part mm. me speaking about it often uh, because you know i came out uh, publicly um and shared about my mm. status. status yes so with that it's just me trying to better my my soul my spirit and accepting Hore, you know what i am HIV positive and so what yeah so what like i need to continue with my life so i like talking about HIV. so i'm glad that you invited me to come <laughs> <laughs> like i just want to tell you that i am really proud of you thank you so i have much. seen you live yeah. with hiv from <laughs> the window <laughs> oh. <laughs> and i've seen you like becoming this woman that, yeah. that you are yeah yeah and thank you for making me a part of your journey yeah <laughs> <laughs> so now we are filling you in yes <laughs> we're gonna be sharing like those awkward questions that if you feel like okay you're afraid to ask obviously yes so, yeah. like at some point mm -hmm. there was a point where in my life i couldn't like post anything, anything related to, to HIV, hiv knowing that i have you on my whatsapp on mm -hmm. my facebook mm -hmm. if i post it how is she going, going to, to feel yeah, about yeah, it yeah yeah yes. mm -hmm. so i just kept myself away from anything that has to do with hiv because yeah. i'm like i don't know how this is going to make you yeah feel true if true. i post it yeah yeah because like i feel like most people well it's it's a sensitive topic to to just put it out there and Talk about it that's why it's not you like don't talk about it yeah it's not easy just to come and say i am an hiv positive <laughs> not everybody <Would> remind <laughs> me <laughs> not everybody has the strength in jesus <laughs> I, I, I don't know you know god has just given me this oh, beautiful wow. strength. <laughs> god has given me this strength Do you know what? <laughs> yeah <laughs> Guess you know how I found out that she was HIV positive. <laughs> like, yeah. that was the most awkward thing ever. Yeah. And we were at a funeral. Mm -hmm. I remember. We were at a funeral. Like, this is after Rafotil Ayneman. Rafagadijon. We were like at the side of the road. Oh, my God, we were not even talking about anything to do with sex. Mm -hmm. Any, like, she just went. What would you say if I told you I was HIV positive? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and this was it was back in 2016, and yeah. hmm, and me being me, and well, I think that's that's what happens with everybody who is not close to the situation. Yeah. We don't want. We're like, it's not that we don't want to know it, but mm -hmm. we are not interested. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Why would I be interested in such a topic? Yeah, yeah. So, whew, <laughs> guys, I did not know what to say to her. 
Like I kept cutting. Okay, what do I say? <laughs> In my head, like what do I say? Do I say yeah. sorry? Do I say you'll be fine? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, it was so awkward. <laughs> yeah. One thing that I don't like people to to say, like like if it's all what's a horror like I'm HIV positive, I've been living with HIV. Mm. The one word that I don't like it's Oh shame. Ah. You're gonna be okay. Oh shame. Like where did you get it? Like don't ask me those questions. You'll obviously tell us when you want. Yeah, I will I'll fill you in if I, I feel comfortable to share with you, Jorge. Okay, this and this has happened and yeah, we oh, understand. So mm. I don't like those like I always say when people ask me, Jorge, nah, I don't like questioning like God. I don't ask Jorge by who, from where. And why? Like those are the questions that I don't even ask myself. Because what one? Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna change. It's not gonna change. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm still HIV positive. Okay. So this is my question. Mm -hmm. What? Like, how did you feel? Like, how did you feel? Like, just mm -hmm. seeing that those two lines mm -hmm. on that test. Yeah. Like, what was going on in your mind? Like, how did you take it from um, the first day? First day when I I went to the clinic. Initially, when I went to the clinic, next I had a contest for HIV. Mm. Nothing has happened. Maybe I like I didn't touch anybody's blood. I didn't sleep with anybody. I um, well, understand. Mm. Such you were not even sick at that time. No, I was not. You didn't feel any pain. Nothing. Pain, nothing. nothing. I strictly went to the clinic to get my 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 contraceptives, and then as I come out the door, my friend is going inject. <laughs> <laughs> And then I see this door, it's written um, HIV cancelling and testing. Mm. And in my mind, something just said, go inside the door. Oh. And I went in, I knocked, and I told them, Hore, I'm here to test uh, for HIV. Mm. And the nurse, but you know, the cancelling, and then they pricked me, and then yeah, when you see two lines, it means that um, you are HIV positive. If it's one line, then you are HIV negative. So that they put like the test there, yeah. so we can also oh, like, see. Yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. Oh, it takes about like, 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 two minutes to three minutes. Mm -hmm. So when that kid, by the next guy, born, Yana, obviously. She's a nurse. Yeah, she's what they nurse. understand the one, the one. Mm. So when I want her know there's two lines coming up and all that, she asked me, Are, how many lines do you see? Mm. And 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 I, I stood up, I look at that kit, and then I saw one clear red line, and the other one was very blurry. It was not visible enough for me. Because I didn't, yeah. Because I didn't understand the symptoms of HIV and all that. So for me, I felt like it was very blurry. So I was like, ah, no, I see one line that is very clear, and the other one that is not visible. And then she was like, this means that you are HIV positive. And how did you take it? Yo, I can imagine. Like, how did you take it? What did you do? Like, uh, at first I was like, nah. Nah, it, it cannot be. It can be. Me. No, it, it cannot be. No, Pele, not, not me. No, because the, the growing up even, Pele, now was this good girl, was okay. Me. Like, this was a sharp in terms of dating me. You know? Like, okay, no one. Yeah. And no, I've, I've heard you say, Hore, no one goes out mm. they looking for. Make yeah. it their, their mission? Their mission <laughs> to go and catch HIV. Yeah. But you do at the end of the day. Yeah. But then. I think I I, I, I I like that. Yeah. I like that saying. Yeah. Because you, you don't just decide Ori Gezile you're right and you're relevant. Let me go to taboo and, and catch, catch something. something. Or understand that you yes. don't do that. Uh, yeah. You might find it or it, it happens to it, 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 happens it can to happen to anybody. Anyone. Yeah. Yeah. It cannot be like in terms of yes. relationship and yeah, dating yeah. stuff. Umara. Uga, 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 fitaga, an accident scene, and then all when now you're just trying to help, you don't have class and all that, but I agree you don't know the person mm, or what to say, the status, the status mm. or what to say, or what to say, and 
Understand. I, I get who you were a good girl, but yeah. the same way as they are good drivers. Yeah, yeah. There will always be accidents mm. with bad drivers. Yes, yes, you understand. Yes. So another only mistake that you did was trust that one person that you were in a relationship yes. with. Yes. Yes. As much as I trust my driving, mm-hmm. <laughs> I cannot say I will never get into an accident. No, you it's cannot. Like, yeah. It's it's the same as yeah, yeah. As that something. So like it's that. it's just basically that to correct. The, I trusted one person, but um, I did not question myself because I was in a um, long distance relationship. Mm-hmm. And with this person, uh, I didn't ask myself because you trust people. Because, because I trust you get into a relationship. relationship yeah, like like everything just goes up the window like this person cannot be wrong i understand no. i understand so those were some of the things that i did not ask myself or because they make you believe they are right yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. so that was the mistake that i did i did not question myself even when i uh, and then what one after a long time after a long time you you was, yeah. yes so, but then no it's, it's it's okay yeah we can't change anything <laughs> at can't this point anything. we're just going to talk and make ourselves sad mm-hmm. but at the end of the day we cannot change that yeah we cannot change the so mm-hmm. i know that like when i you, you right now you're just trying to help like other people or, like, yeah be and and i don't know you are putting yourself as an example Double. yeah to other youth yeah for a, Yes, I do have HIV. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, mm. I, it hasn't changed anything in your life. No, it hasn't it, changed. It has anything. not changed anything in your life. Mm. I can say that myself because mm. I've seen you live with it. Yeah, for the longest time. Yeah, and you're fine. You're good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. The 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 only thing that I want to do is just to try to raise awareness to the young generation my peers uh, even because i get a lot of um, messages from older people where they start sharing like their journey and opening up about their statuses so what i'm trying to do is just to put it out there or you know what even if i'm living with hiv i can still continue living my best life I can still achieve everything that I want to and achieve. You are, hey? <laughs> Your love knows. <laughs> I can do whatever. Like I can be, I can be in a relationship. I can have a family. I can do everything. That is what I'm trying to put it out there. Or look at my life. This is me yes. living with HIV, and I still have one, two, three, and four. And I can still do and all I can, these things that y'all can do. Living with HIV age. doesn't mean Korimanje, you are limited to, to, to a number of things. Yes. You are HIV negative, I'm HIV positive, but that's why. Nah. You can go to school, I can go to school. Can yeah, can you can be a, a, a whatever uh, in the profession. Lina Nje, Rekaba, so. You understand? <laughs> you know what, ne? As, as, as we're talking, yes. I'm, I'm getting to a point like, okay. Did you know, mm-hmm. like, when they told you that you were HIV positive, did you know where you could have gotten it? Um, yes, I knew where I could have gotten it, but I wasn't sure. Mm-hmm. But what I did was, I tried to track back, Hore, okay, I, I have been in a relationship <laughs> with this person and this person and this person, mm-hmm. and there was a point where um, I did not use protection with this person. Mm. So what I did was I went back because I didn't have their numbers and all. I went to Facebook and I started contacting those people. And then the quest- the question that I, <laughs> I I posed was like, dude, how are you? Um, how have you been? And all that. And then uh, I, I tried to, to, to fill them in. This and this has happened in my life. Yeah. I just want to know from your side when was the last time that you tested for HIV? Oh, so you did not go there and and ask them like if they know their statuses? No, uh, no, I I didn't put it in that way. I just wanted to find out for when was the last time they, they did got. they did like an HIV test so that I could. No, man, the last time I did an HIV test was eighteen years ago. 
or if the person will say no man go miracle we always doing uh, the test the last time i did an hiv test was two weeks ago and i am fine and then you, in you my mind yes yeah, yeah i wrote down the list and then cancel okay no this one nah, this one nah, this one nah, this one nah. until where i was like no this one it has to be this one no, this <laughs> one <laughs> yeah this and one uh, but, did yeah. you call him did you like tell him? i didn't call him or tell him but uh what had happened was um he started uh, being sick and oh. then at some point he tried to reach out to me so was he trying to tell you that this is what's going on or... I, i'm not certainly sure if he was trying to fill me in for a what rather than i must just go and test or anything like that because he didn't put it like straight for it i am hiv positive he did not tell me that mm. until i just had some rumors about him and then so when, when he, you got tested did you had you already had the rumors about him no okay. no i make so next to all those rumors so when he told me and then he told really those rumors one plus one is close to two guys come on <laughs> <laughs> yes one plus one is close to two so yeah it, then it was it like this is it it's him yeah this is it it's him because even from the list i couldn't come out with uh, anyone, yeah with anyone that i had slept with or whatever yeah mm -hmm. yeah so i remember you told me that you had like after you, you got tested that you had a whole year that you were you were you're in denial yeah yeah i was i was in denial for a whole year because to me when i saw that blurry line and that one clear line i was like no this cannot be me so i just got what the nurse was telling me at the back of my head i was like nah it, it, it cannot can be, be me. no it cannot be me for a whole year i continued my life as normal i wasn't sick i was not coughing i was not like nothing and no signs no at signs all. at all mm -hmm. yeah until where um i was um, in a relationship because i had told the person that i was dating then or no this and this has happened at the clinic because name was that you day. talk about it yeah no i talk about you it so that i yeah yeah really i i i always talk about it if i get into a relationship i will tell you so that you can make your own what, decisions what, what was his reaction when you said Nini, nini, I went mm. to a clinic and mm -hmm. this is what they said. Um, thing is, he also believed, he trusted me. That was the mistake that um, he did. He made, yeah. Yeah. Um, he believed what I was telling him. I did not see two lines. I saw one clear line. You know, when, when, some, when you tell your mind something. Yes, you end up believing that. Yeah. yeah. You end up believing that or, uh, uh, this cannot be me and I did not see another line. So, and then things just work out the mm, way the you way. believe mm, them. Mm, mm. Mm. So, when I told him, his reaction was like, okay, if you're saying when you did not see two lines, then let's continue Kamapilo Arona as normal. Mm. Yeah. But a year later, that thing it was bothering me man Hore, what if vele, 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 vele. there was two lines there were two lines yeah. vele, 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 vele. and i'm not doing anything about it then that means and i've, I've got a child i'm gonna what's my thing because of the way like the way like hiv was painted when yeah. we grew up like yeah. we knew it as as you get it, you die. Yeah. Chaile. Mm. Yes. Also, how do you how do you accept so easily if what you know mm. about HIV is that you're going to die? Mm. Or understand. Mm. So I get the, the 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 you being in denial for mm. whole year. Yeah. Yeah. Because also like this is you trying to accept it, mm -hmm. but with the information that you have, have. Yeah. it makes it hard. hard. To accept for you to accept mm, it. Mm, mm. It made it very it made it very hard for to accept for it. Yeah, you know what? Because I had so much I mean I, like I mean I had so little information. Yes, yes, yes. And also, then, yeah. That that's also why I did not know how to respond mm. when you told me that you were HIV positive. Mm. Because of what I knew back mm. then about HIV mm. or what I was told. Yeah. Because I did not make it a point in my life to like 
just go on Google and mm. try to find out about HIV. Yeah. I did not even go like mm, I was okay with the information that I knew mm. then because mm. it did, it wasn't close to home. Yeah. I have never met anybody who has ever come out to me and said I am mm. HIV positive. So it wasn't something that I'm interested in. Yeah. So whatever it is that I knew about it, I was Yeah. That's, okay, it. that's it. That's it. <laughs> it moves. It has nothing to do with me. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. So, Jay, uh, growing up in Jay, I was like, you know what? Nah, I know about HIV because Kolonko High School go life orientation. Mm. And then that is it. Ye. Love life. Le love life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> love life people used to come to school. Yes, we understand that. Hey. And like back then, man, never saw. Never said get it deep, man. <laughs> like, because, because, like you say, Nessa hit a home. Eh, it, like, you don't know anyone who has HIV. You are just hearing, about, hearing it. about it. It, it mm. doesn't affect me in any way. Yeah. The same way when coronavirus started, That's it. they said these numbers at some point when? are going to turn into names. names. But when it was just numbers, ah, we were fine. Like, okay, can we move on right like, now? Yeah. <laughs> but now that we know somebody, yeah. And we've known somebody at some point. Yeah. Then we believe that coronavirus is there. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the same thing. So long as it's not home, mm. it's not my business. Yeah. So now right now what I'm trying to do is just to to give out the information to make people know it's fine. You know, don't you... don't question anything. Yeah, you can, you can, you can go on. Yeah, you can go You've on. You've been, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You can go on, like, there's nothing wrong, Anna. The only thing, Kokore, I've got a virus, and that is that. And you're managing it. Perfectly fine, darling. 9 p.m. <laughs> 9 o'clock, I take my medication. And... Just one pill. Mm -hmm. Every day, 9 o'clock, I drink my medication at the same time. So, that is, that is just that. What I'm trying to avoid really, to the people that are around me. Mm. Like for instance, with with you, you are my friend. Mm. If we go to the more and then go out and then come ah. and tell me, Hore, you, you know what, Kamo, hey, 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 hey. Um, I went to test and then <laughs> jiki jiki, I'm HIV positive. Girl, go to Lapa. You're saying it again? I'm like, <laughs> Honestly, I was telling her last <laughs> night for you know like not lapa because like, you'd kill me dead, dead like dead, I would dead, kill dead, you dead, dead dead because I am giving my life to you. You're my friend. I'm opening as much as I can so that you mustn't do the same mistakes that I did. You understand? I know. Hey. <laughs> so when if it's not long from for someone, so I'm just trying to to to, to put it out there, man. Mm. To put it out there for okay, there was the, like use me as an example. You, yes. you, you, you were saying that I was. <laughs> she, you, she said to me, like, every time you are having sex and Omo guy doesn't have a condom, you must just see my face. She, I was making it as Omo guy, and I can't, she must see my face. Most of the guy. And say, Kamu? 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 If the guy does not take out condoms, yay. You must Balega. Balega. <laughs> <laughs> you must insist for the Where is the condom? If Anayona, I, I don't understand. Like if Anayona wanna you must take out your condoms. And <laughs> you were saying <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> she was saying Koreana uh you that Guys, is your <laughs> like you need to understand Korea. sex is the same as like this conversation is hard. <laughs> Sex is a conversation. I had Leon. <laughs> <laughs> she was saying, Koreana, going to go pharmacy or go garage and asking her, can I please have a packet of condoms? Now, can I get all the people in condom? I'm 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 exactly like you, ne? I don't remember myself going to the garage or going to a shop and picking up a box of condoms and then say Gary, you know what i'm buying them but there are also many ways that you can have yourself who create your handbag on a pack of condoms if you know that you're going to your person or whatever understand okay. which is you <laughs> when yeah. i get condoms on, online, online. I get condoms. Yeah, please <laughs> <laughs> imagine 
Because people would portray as if we got a sharp with the, the the information that they have mm. or but then when they come to you and then live on I say it's it hit home mind you you know what this person I am dating this person and this person is living with HIV and then the experience that I've heard with the guys that I've dated were they will just let me know it's fine as long as you're taking your medication and then two weeks later ghost ghost <laughs> and now i am not gonna deprive myself to be in a relationship here because people are rejecting me no over the thing are you kind of i'm hiv positive so i can't choose i'm going to go after like you know, mm-hmm. no, no girl. I did not deprive Don't myself. Rob yourself. No, I did not deprive myself. I was like, next. The list was very long. Yeah, <laughs> the list was very long. And this one, Ari, I'm ghost. We move, we move on. on. We move, girl. We move. We move on to the next one. But I'm Jolly and Nisa and Osnisa song. Osnisa song. Okay. Osnisa song. Yes, you did say in one of your videos. Whether you're <laughs> And the person that I'm dating, good. Oh my God, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy, but well, I'm happy for you. Yeah, thank you. But I always put it out there. Rosa Toma, Rosa Puto, Rosa Fletcher, Fletcher, Mola. I put it on the table. Matota, hello. Hi, mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm HIV positive. How are you? <laughs> Is if, that what you do? If, if that has to be a slogan moving forward, then <laughs> let it be so. Because if a person loves you, with rata with everything that you're coming with, right? Mm. Yeah. If that person op- the level one rata. No, tell them you can still have kids. Yes. You can still have like a normal life. A normal life, a normal everything. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Jorge. Everything like I will change it next. The only thing that is changing, Koryo, you've got a virus in your body. Mm. That is that. And if you're managing it, then it's not a problem. If you're taking your pills every day at the same time, then you're good to go. I heard something about when sometimes when, like when you take your I'm not I'm not sure if mm-hmm. I'm right, mm-hmm. but when you take your ARVs mm-hmm. and then when you go test again, it can either be non reactive. Is it non reactive? Yeah. So what why is that does that mean you don't have it in your body anymore or no the thing is when you take your medication mm. like sharp mm. then that is when the pills you know they are working in your body like the system very sharp or understand then the pills helps us to fight the virus that's why we have uh, your viral load. Mm-hmm. We have your CD4 count. So the less your viral load, 
becomes. Mm. And then how can to a point where you are undetectable? It is well, it's you. not non-reactive, it's undetectable. It's undetectable. Non-reactive is for those who are what, negative. negative. Mm. Oh, yeah. okay. So when it becomes undetectable, it's still there. It does not mean that you must stop taking your medication. No. You must continue taking your medication. Nine o'clock is a date. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you must continue taking your medication every day, even though manche your viral load is undetectable. Oh. It does not mean kormanje. Even if by guy because there was a point um where I went and tested and the kid was like saying I'm neg I'm HIV negative. I think it was two years ago if I'm honest. It? Yeah. With like the one year the finger prick. Yeah. Like negative one line. Negative one line. So do you see Hore it means Hore I am taking my medication so well that even lately the virus adenary space in my bloodstream. So what is it? It's still there, but I didn't add the virus I saw my Still doubted in negative term. Like right now when I'm sitting and I'm thinking, yes, I do test negative. What if I didn't match? No, but then I get him now. I, at first I tested positive, oh. and then I went into treatment. Then that means the treatment is working very well. So when if you go and test and then it's negative, and then go and test after window period, and then negative. Yeah, in the negative still. Then that means you are HIV negative. Okay. Yeah. I guess this is about this about it. Like yeah, yeah. we can't go on forever, guys. We can. We would like to, but we need to end this conversation at some point. Yeah. So that's it for today from mm -hmm. us. Yeah. And thank you for sharing and thank you for being so open with us. Yeah, no problem. If you want to talk to me about anything that has to do with HIV, because one thing that I did not mention is if you are not infected, mm -hmm. you are mostly definitely affected. affected. So if you want to talk to me, hit me up and don't listen to me. <laughs> She's also a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please hit me up on um, all my social media platforms, which is the real Gamhello M. I am on um, Facebook, it's the real Gamhello M. Hit me up with um dms um i'm on instagram it's kamahelo cams um she will leave my yes, I'll <laughs> social leave the details in the description, description box yeah so yeah. Well, like i don't like guys like i said speaking about hiv helps me to heal so if you and me sit in a conversation you are helping me to heal <laughs> We thank you. Thank you so much for guys. Having please me. don't forget to like, mm -hmm. to subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Yes. <laughs> thank you for watching. We love you. <laughs>